What a beautiful day in Blackwater, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Today, we're going to be hunting down... Well, not really hunting. We're going to be searching for one of the new horses, the Warped Brindle Arabian. Now, I've heard reports of a location for this particular horse, and we're going to be checking that out together. Hopefully, we find it and we're able to actually showcase this wonderful new horse. And there are a total of like five new horses in the game. This is going to be the first one that we're checking out. It's supposed to be a fast and agile mount. And I'm curious if it's going to be, you know, a contender for one of the better horses in the game. Since everybody loves the Rose Grey Arabian, which you can get in the epilogue. Good lord, the PC version just looks so beautiful. Now, uh, I've heard reports that it's near the Wapiti Reservation. I guess I'm gonna go to Valentine and make my way up there. So we're basically just searching around the mountain areas behind the Wapiti Reservation. And apparently there's a chance for uh, the horses to spawn back here. There's been a couple people that have found it around this particular area. Uh, there may be multiple points where you can actually find this horse, but this is the only confirmed spot that I've had so far. So we're kind of just gonna wander around, try and not spook everything, and Oh, that's a big horn ram. <laughs> and hope that we can find this wonderful new horse. Oh my god, I think that's it. Wow, okay. Yeah, that is it. Don't mean we ain't friends. <clears throat> Come here, horsey. Oh crap. Oh, I spooked it. I done spooked it trying to catch it on a mountain like an idiot. So it is definitely near the Wapiti Reservation. Oh, the game crashed. Well, that's cool. I was able to load back in, and the horse literally in the, the same exact spot that I saw it the first time, which is, like, right about here on this mountain, um, just northwest of the Wapiti Reservation. So that's cool. It seems to kind of be, like, a the same kind of spawn as the White Arabian, where it'll be in the same area. Um, so if you don't find it here, just come back, and maybe you'll get lucky. Oh, what? Horse! What the hell was that? <laughs> so in the on the PC version, there's a, a weird glitch where when you try and get off your horse, it's like you hit a wall or a tree and you just fall off. Um, it's not the best thing in the world. Come here, little warp brindle Arabian. Oh, hit, hit. oh god, there's so many trees. We gotta get it to an open spot so that way I can actually lasso it. Oh, that's my uh, SLI saying that there's snow here and it's really, really upset about it. So I apologize for my SLIs. For some reason, that's the only thing I can't get working with the SLI setup is being able to go to the snow area without uh, artifacting and like weird uh, glitchiness. But otherwise, my SLI setup is working splendidly. Go to the open area, please, horse. I would like to be your stupid game and your glitchy getting off the horse bullshit. Get back here. Okay, we're just gonna have to do it on foot because clearly we can't get off our horse without falling down. Or may not have fallen off when I first tried to uh, to do it. We're gonna calm it again. Oh, he booked it. Maybe come back. You can blame it all on the glitches, cause they're plentiful. I guess would be the appropriate word. Calm down, horsey. Can I study it? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, baby, we finally got him tamed. Uh, multiple crashes in the area. Actually, I'm gonna save before we do anything else. So we just got out of that one particular area because I kept crashing up there for some reason. Um, but I could tell you already that the stats aren't going to be the best as far as the health and stamina goes. But let's check out the speed. Maybe it's faster than some of the other Arabians. Um, the stat actually not that bad, especially for a horse you can get for free. We got the elite hand handling. The acceleration is at four and the speed is at six. Um, so for a free horse... It's not bad. It's kind of, it's pretty. I like the way it looks. It is definitely still obviously a small horse. Um I just kind of like the 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 warped pattering of its of its coat. So let's uh, go ahead and grab our handy dandy paddle here. If we can. Let me lighten the load. And put it on this here horse. And get bonded with it. There are a couple other horses that are available, and I believe we can actually find one right inside a strawberry. If you feel like stealing a horse, uh, the new Kentucky Saddler is is right in strawberry. So maybe we'll go check that one out real quick. 
Uh, but this is the Warped Brindle Arabian. I've crashed three times getting this, and it was in the same spot every single time when logging back in. Um, so I'm going to say there's a pretty solid chance that if you go up to that particular spot, you're going to be able to find it. Although, you know, it, the stats didn't show the speed being very high, but it feels like it's a lot faster than a six-speed horse. I don't know. We're going to head to Strawberry, and we're going to check out one of the other new horses. So the stables here in Strawberry will actually spawn in the majority of the new horses. I've seen actually all of the new wild horses here, and this is actually the Liver Chestnut Morgan, which has actually decent stamina uh, for a you know for a wild horse and for speed, which really isn't bad. Um, but otherwise, let's see if we can get it out in the sunlight here. The Liver Chestnut. I kind of like the way its mane goes, and it can we just can we pet you? Of course, it's got some, like, some reddish spots in there, which is really cool. I just, I just like the colorization of the, of the mane. If we could get you into the light, that would be fan diddly -tastic. I didn't want to steal the man's horse, but I, I stole the man's horse. <laughs> I had to. It's for science. I mean, it's pretty. Definitely not the highest stats, but I do like the look of it. The tennis, the new Tennessee Walker, though, is the one that I'm looking for right now, and it is stunningly beautiful. So we're going to head up to the ranch here in the epilogue, and we should be able to find some more horses there. Pretty much they're all spawning in this area at any of the stables and ranches and stuff like that. Uh, so you just kind of go back and forth until you find the horse that you want. I do believe this fine gentleman is actually riding one of the new horses, which is kind of filthy at the moment. Yeah, that's definitely the new horse right there. Uh, so we're going to do that, <laughs> and then we're going to just meander on over to this here horse. Who's a good horse? I didn't fall off my horse that time. It's a Christmas miracle. I'm pretty sure this is the new Tennessee Walker. If not, I'm going to look like a major idiot right now. But I'm like 99.999% sure. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's find out. John, get out of the horse, dude. The horse does not want you inside of it, okay? I knew it! New Kentucky Saddler. We just gotta clean it. So this is the Buttermilk Buckskin. So it's got four speed, two acceleration, and it looks like three stamina and three health. I know, I know it looks very dirt. Oh, oh, did I just punch it? Give me your horse! We gotta put a saddle on it and get this thing brushed down, because this thing is actually beautiful when it's not covered in mud. Who's a good horse? Look at how, how much more glowy it is. It's very reminiscent of Buell. And, quite frankly, just... Stunning. Like, look at how... Look at it poop. It even poops majestically. That leaves a little bit to be desired, but the horse itself is stunning. Have I mentioned how much I love the photo mode in this game? It's just... It just blows me away every time. I just love it so very, very much. And I wanted to just show these off in photo mode here. Um, you can see just how much smaller the Arabian is. I know it's on a hill and whatnot, um, which will um, you know, make it look smaller just from that. Uh, but regardless, uh, <laughs> the, the Arabians are so tiny. They're just itty bitty. So we can get a nice view of the Tennessee Walker here. I just love this colorization for the horses. I mean, Buell, absolutely amazing. There's a horse available like this in Red Dead Online now as well. And they just look really, really nice. These are probably my two favorite looking horses that were made available with the PC version. I do imagine these are going to make it into online. There's really no reason for them not to go into online. Other than the fact that their stats aren't comparable enough to some of the better horses we have already. So it would really kind of just be like... This is why I think we need to have horse breeding uh, available in Red Dead Online as a job. So that way you can breed better stats into horses that really aren't being used as much just due to the stats and stuff like that. So hopefully a Rockstar maybe takes that into consideration and will allow people to actually be able to breed and sell horses. I think it would be such an amazing idea and definitely a way to get people coming back to play all the time. But God, this this photo mode, you can, like even the particles stay, you can see the nice uh, dangly bits there, the meaty clackers. Perfect. But anyways, uh, these are the horses that I've showed off today. Well, we've showed off another one, too. So we've showed off three of the new horses. And as I find more of them, I'll make sure to make more videos. And especially 
if there's any really really good horses like top tier horses we'll be reviewing those as well but i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one